Keith here in Bend, Oregon, and we're getting ready to leave as you can see our car over to the left side is filled with bikes and toys and bags. But if you guys ever need a place to stay in Bend, Oregon, if you come here for just fun for family vacation or you come here for Cascade or the U.S. National Championships, I have a couple perfect places for you guys to stay. Now I'm just going to videotape one of them though. I'm here at the ranch house that Sweet Escapes helps provide for us. It's a beautiful ranch house that has 30 acres. Behind the house there's a 20 acre hay field to my back. There is horses and there's a nice creek which is really great for soaking your legs in if you want. It's better than the just shoots. Uh, you have a nice riding arena and it's not only beautiful on the inside, but it's amazing on the outside. When the sun goes down at night, you have the perfect sunset. And so if you guys ever need a destination for Bend, Oregon, be sure to check out SweetEscapes.com. And I'm going to show you guys the inside of the house and around um, the yard and that sort of thing. So follow me. Oh, hey, you found me on the patio. So the patio is right on the towards the back side of the house and it has a nice sitting area. We actually had dinner here one night. We had the perfect burgers and steak. That was awesome. Not only does it have a table and chairs as a normal patio should, it should have a barbecue, which it does, um, which was great for whatever we had to cook. And sitting here, not only do you get a great sunset that I was talking about in sunrise, but you get a nice view of the horses, which have disappeared for the moment, of course. And a um, perfect view of anyone playing tennis and watching them have fun. So as you can see, there's a tennis court, there's horses, and um, a nice little creek. So again, try and go find me. Hey all, you found me again. This is not becoming fair because my cameraman knows where I am. Anyways, so I'm here in the kids' room slash entertainment center. And as you can see, there's a couch here. But what you don't see is behind you, to your left, there's a TV and a whole library of movies. So on a nice, cold, <coughs> snowy, Bend, Oregon winter day, you can come chill out in here and watch a movie or just watch regular TV. Well, not only is this an entertainment center, but as you can see behind me, there's bunk beds. So here's the top one and here's the bottom one. And then over here you have two other ones, which is perfect for the kids to ship them off in here, hang out. And um, G's favorite part was the pillowfish up on the ground. But I would see, <coughs> yep, that's it. So come follow me. So I'm here with my favorite friend, the fish. But I'm here at the back side of the house. As you can see, there's a nice, awesome place to run around, throw a football, throw a baseball, play bocce ball, pr practically anything. And as you can see on the other side of the fence, you have a 20 acre hay field. That's right, I said 20 acres. And um, Shoshana, who's with Sweet Escapes, her husband, Buck, has an ATV. And he's just the nicest man. And he took us out on an ATV and he let Gigi and Charlotte drive it. And of course, they find it funny to gun it and just put on the full gas going over bumps and creeks and everything. So we're out there screaming on an ATV going as fast as we can, but it was so much fun. So thank you, Buck. Now over here, if you come over, you have a nice little table, and actually some of the chairs are on the front side of the house. We had dinner on the front side. But you have a nice hot tub, perfect for when it gets cold outside. Um, I can only imagine sitting in the hot tub, which is probably about 90 degrees in snowing. I, that's, I mean, for me, that's probably the perfect way. So if you come over here, you can see there's a little entrance over here to the front side of the house and a little sideways gate over there. But I don't know if you, if you can see that window right there. That's actually the kids' window. So you wake up with a nice view of the lawn. And this tree is perfect to sit under and read a book. So, so you guys you're on another wing of the house, and this side has two bedrooms and a bathroom on this side. So this bedroom over here is a nice, perfect bedroom. I wish my room actually looked like this. You can come in, uh, looks really cool. Charlotte, what's your favorite part, part about this room? Um, everything. I love green and brown together. They're awesome. So you would take this room at home? Uh-huh, anytime. Anytime. And I don't, I'm just gonna open this. As you can see, there's a nice little table here with a, with a mirror and some cabinets. So this is overall probably 
probably one of my favorite rooms. So there's also another room. If you come follow me. I'll pretend me. it's my room. <laughs> You'll pretend it's your room, G. Sushi. He was sushi, G. So we're here in the other Sorry. room. This one's G loves this room because um, of all the stuffed animals, and she she loves yes, horses. Yes, you salmon, Millie. And so, um, thanks, G. So this is a perfect room for any boy and um, or girl. So, so as you can see, room. this is the front of the house, and I don't know if you can see it from there, but this bench is actually made out of horseshoes. So they were all put together, and it made a really cool bench. It's probably one of my favorite like things about the entrance. So come follow me. Here's a little entrance room coming in to the house. Shoes off here. Uh, but here is the living room. And it's a nice place to relax. I spent a lot of my time here after um, just hanging out and chatting with people and that sort of thing. So really comfy chairs. And uh, yeah, so this is a great place to come hang out. And right behind you, there's a nice dining room table, but I'm so comfy now that I don't know if I can get myself back up. Um, but I guess I have to. So here's a nice little area, perfect place for the kids to sit, eat breakfast, and you just keep showing up everywhere. But um, what, what I liked about sitting here is I could actually wash my dish from sitting here with a really cool sink, which I'll show you guys later in the kitchen. But over here is a nice dining room table. We ate dinner here also. Really comfy chairs. Um, my mom loved the queen chair, she calls it, because it made her feel um, high and it was a really cool chair. But yeah, I need to read This that. is the entrance to the master bedroom. And if you come in here, you can see that you have a nice little office. Charlotte's enjoying the nice big chair. A library, books, and if you have a baby coming with you, a nice baby crib there. Now come follow me into the bed, the bedroom, actually. So here's a nice little dresser over here, and you have a great big closet, big enough to fit all of our family's clothes. This is probably my favorite, favorite bed in the house. It's perfect the way I like it, nice and hard, but kind of soft. And you have a bunch of um, pillows here. And here's the master bathroom. You have a nice big shower over there. Um, great place to lay out all your cosmetics over here. And this is the nice big kitchen, as you can hear the dishwasher going in the background. But this is probably my favorite part of the kitchen. It's a really cool sink, one that I haven't really seen before. So for me, it was really cool. Now, a great thing about this sink is you have a pull down nozzle, and it comes in two variations of spraying perfect. Yeah, you guys know about sinks. Um, geez, jacket. But it was a nice, great place to prepare all our meals, and it was nice and big, which was perfect for all five of us to um, to spread out and eat what we wanted, that sort of thing. And we had a nice TV watching the World Cup while eating um, breakfast one morning. That was perfect. But otherwise, you guys know about kitchens, and so be sure to check out sweetescapes.net. And be sure to rent a house here in Bend, Oregon from them.